Yeah, I do wonder if we're going to fight another invader once we jump down from there. That's definitely something we're going to check as well. Hmm, okay. Right. Yeah, so this is the bit I've already gone down to, so I don't need to go down there right now. I really did think I was going to find fear here. Gideon's counterpart is not here too. But the fact that I can swing my sword in here still makes me think that it's hiding something. There's some kind of secret path. There we go, okay. It's not fear, but this is where we've found D and fear left us, no? Seed bed curse. Right, let's have a look at this inventory again. This is really filling out now. Oh, we've got two of those now. Oh, curse grown on a body defiled by the dung eater. At least we have nine of these, so these are all like abilities to just be reborn. Respec. I'm not sure if it's if that key item is even a consumable. I don't think it is. Like what do you do with it? use it. Yeah, I'm surprised I got a second to be honest, but fine. Maybe it helps against the dung eater in some way. I don't know. See, I really thought this might have been where I found fear again. Or that hidden temple that was mentioned in the guise of a bedchamber or whatever. But... So this might be an example of an area that I just go into the wiki and I look up now to see if there's a secret in here that I don't know about. Okay, so I want to confirm that there was no kind of like hidden path to a temple or anything through here, and I don't believe that there is, so I just want to, to be sure of that. Uh, in terms of fear, I think what's interesting to me is that deep root depths and here is very close, and we fought fierce champions in the deep root depth, so I think maybe that's where you gotta go to find her. I think that might be a thing. It's like exactly here. Yeah, I think it might be worth a look, so I'm gonna have a, a look at that bit. Prince of Death's Throne. Let me have a look. I haven't been back to the Deep Root Deaths for a long time. There she is. Okay. Yes. So this is where I had to come back to because I defeated her champions. Let's see what she has to say. Ah, there you are. I knew you would come. What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order. No, I want to be held. <laughs> That's interesting. I'm going to press this to see what happens. You are an odd one. <laughs> I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? Maybe she gives me more of a, a legit blessing as a result. I just want to see if there's more conversation to be had. Yeah, those horns... So you still get the Boulder King's blessing, but you saw what happened to my health bar there, by the way. Talking secret. Have you ever seen a Hallowbrand? When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half-wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's Hallowbrand has since been recovered at the Round Table Hold, 
But there is another Hallowbrand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, a Hallowbrand scored his flesh, but another exists. Another mark in the shape of the half-wheel wound of the centipede, and I must find it. Before the time comes, my hands will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you, even then? Give curse mark of death. Okay. This is the other Hallowbrand. How did you... Oh, my utmost thanks. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead and claim a second illustrious life. You are my, our, true champion. And though I can't be of any use to you, can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. Damn, this is what I wanted to do. Fish. Radiant Bolican's blessing. Nice. I will soon lay with Godwin, and it will surely stir within me. The new life of the Golden Prince, and first dead of the demigods, as the rune of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. So I think like one way or another you're going to become the Elden Lord. But it's like I guess in alliance with who or like who are you going to be most favourable to once you do I guess. Or who you kill along the way and shit. I will soon lay to conceive brandish my But yeah, brandish my rune and take... Stay the persecution by becoming... So that's cool. So Godwin the first of the demigods. So now I want to see the radiant Baldekin's blessing. He uses FP temporarily boost poise. So once this is gone, I get my health back. Maybe the other one is like a good. Maybe I can come back for more radiant ones if I want. And then you get the option to probably talk in secret and stuff every time, but you get a repeat. So it's only a normal Baldekin's blessing. I will soon to conceive okay. brandish my rune and take for stay the persecution of those I become. Okay, fine. So I think for now that's all we have with fear. We'll be interested to see what happens with Godwin now. The effect lasts longer than a mere favor. It's said a deathbed companion will only produce a blessing of this kind for a champion but once in her entire life. The sole blessing which she imbues of her own volition. Uh, this blessing of the utmost rarity. Okay. So that's that. Um... I'm not sure if we got anything more that we need to do with Fia at this stage. I think I can continue. Uh, I'm not going to cross her off because she's still alive and I'm not sure if it's completely concluded or not. But that's important nonetheless. Um, I also want to quickly just check this. I've marked it previously. I'm not sure. It might be the Walking Mausoleum. It might be one that I've missed. Let's have a look. And then I think after this one I want to try to find Rogier's like the recipient of Roger's note. That would be nice. I guess since D was was looked like he was killed by fear. That'll be an interesting one too. Yeah, no torrent at the moment. And I bet I won't be able to jump down here. It 
probably a better... Yeah, it's probably this one. Okay, so we're making progress. That's the main thing. I mean, the summons have come out. Is there a reason for that? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's another one of these. Shit. Well, that was a lucky find. Yeah, not going to do that just now, uh, but I'm unlikely to forget it, but I'm going to mark it anyway. That's like, you're going somewhere, son. But I do want to check that out first. So even after 100 hours, you see, new things are, are happening, as long as you just continue to stay the course and explore. And explore. Second, I thought I over jumped. Also, I want to check back inside there again. I forgot what was in there last time. And Ghost Glove or 7 is powerful. here are pretty strong. If you're not careful, you can get punished. So I just want to double check this first and then we'll have a look at the walking mausoleum. I think once you bring them down once, they stay kind of brought down. So it should be fine. Oh, fuck. I think it's just the way he phases in and out, he could randomly just spawn next to me. But yeah, there's too many of them around here. That's what I don't like. But there is something here that I needed to see. We'll have that. Mausoleum soldier ashes. Nice. They could be strong. So many ashes. Right. Again, this one I'll look it up. I think last time I was looking for, like, the things on the side to try and take out. It didn't have any. So I was thinking, how the hell do you deal with these ones then? Yeah, there's nothing on these. And I think... It's a little bit of a dangerous place because <laughs> you can't pause the game. So I need a little safe zone where I can quickly Google this without getting harassed. I'm going to literally try and hide in here for a sec. Okay. So it says, can be jumped upon by climbing on the roots in the area. Then you must destroy the skulls at the top of the mausoleum instead of the feet. So that's the deal with that. Um... 
Let me see if I can get up there. Yeah, so I can see that. This is like the, the tool necks in Horizon Forbidden West. Well, and Zero Dawn. So we're going to cause a bit of a scene running through all of these. Be a bit careful here. It's an eight. Nice. Oh no! Good old full damage. It was bound to happen. Thank you for following me down and sharing my pain, though. I appreciate that. We do have enough for another level up, so I need to make sure I get that. Um, get my runes. Yeah, you can tell it's in an annoying little spot, because there's so many enemies. If you want to avoid them, then you put yourself a, a, in danger. So I think I might get off the horse and just take them all out. They shouldn't be too hard. But 40,000 runes is a lot. It's like half a level up, so I do want it. Because make no mistake, we're going to be encountering bosses where you're going to need to level up. I mean, Morgot was already tough. Even though there was a, a few slightly underwhelming bosses along the way, I think, in terms of their difficulty, uh, Morgot was definitely more on point. There's going to be stuff that's much harder even than more got coming up. Where are my runes? I landed on the ground. I mean, I remember that, so... Can't check the map because there's enemies around. I think it's from my launch point, so I have to get back up first. It's not from where I literally landed. Um. Yeah, this base is very bad because you've got the people shooting arrows at you as well. So why try and deal with these guys who get shot off just from the arrows? Like that, you see? That's literally the problem in a nutshell. So I think I need, like, shield up pretty much at all times. Wow, that breaks your shield too, by the way. Fuck you. And they survive one of those too, by the way. Okay, also gone. Um. Yep, you see, happen again. Yeah, so this walking mausoleum, I think this is the final one, so it's like a high level mausoleum. And now it gets a bit treacherous because obviously you could fall before you get your runes back, so this could be a fail. I think there's like a 70% chance that I don't get my runes back and I die here, but we'll see. For once, I'd actually prefer it to be where I fell rather than <laughs> the other option. But yeah, then we have a coffin that takes us to an even different area, so... I don't know, man. It's a lot of options. Uh, right, wrong route.
Yeah, I'm being hunted down. I just got to stay on the move. Gonna try and stay like sprinting here basically. Okay. I think this branch is probably the healthier one to try and make the jump from. I really did think I was going to fail here, and I might still, somehow, but... Come on. I think there might not actually be anything there, like... Oof. Yeah, it looked like there was, but... There we go. Nice. So I can get one of these back. Uh, yeah, I'd have to remember what these give you, honestly. So again, going to look this up. Okay. I don't think any of these are that sort of great because I've got um, it's like for example Rykard he's got Rykard's Rancor releases Searing Spirits repeatedly explode after lay. Seems good but it requires intelligence 40 and I want to move away from intelligence uh, her spell is another intelligence one um, grafted I think there was like a great axe and something else wait let me just double check that one um, there was a dragon head and there was Godric's axe I don't care too much about that uh, this one there's Ash of War, Waves of Darkness. Maybe that was a, a good one to have. And then... Star Scourge is a bow that I don't really care about. And this one is that weird item that consumes FP. So... I don't know. Like, this spell is cool, but it you have to use it on, like, Colossal Swords and stuff. And I think most of the Colossal Swords I have, I like. They have like their own abilities, like the Queen's Flame and that kind of shit. So, I'm not entirely sure at this point. I think I might just go for this item. I'm kind of curious about the item that he gives. So, we'll do that. Okay. That's that. Now we have another coffin to, to fall into. But I think I can cash in some runes to get a level up before I do that. Just in case. Let's have a Luke. We've got a Hero's Rune anyway. They're like 50,000 or something. Though. Uh, how many do I need? 82, 18,000. That shouldn't be too difficult to get in somewhere like this again. So I think I'm going to take like three minutes here because there's a lot of runes. And I can get the runes faster than ever here, so... It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Literally, I'm going to put a stopwatch to see how long it takes. Okay, so literally five minutes it took for me to get to 85,000. So 20,000 runes in five minutes doesn't seem too bad, but I'm sure there's better ways, but I've kind of got used to this one now, so I don't really think about it too much. And also, it's of course very easy. It's basically risk-free, so it's kind of why I like it. Even if you do something silly and you lose your runes, um, the odds of you losing them twice in a row is close to zero.
So yeah, even if something like that happens, it's not the end of the world. So yeah, works pretty well for me still. I can just quickly come in here, get those, get the level up, and then take a trip down the coffin and see how we do. I mean, if it's even one bit further down from the deep root depths, who knows what the hell is awaiting me in there. It might be another singular area where there's just one enemy, um, like the, the natural born one. That could be... That could be the situation. I'm not sure it's a whole new area, but we're going to find out very soon. Let's go. Level up. Uh, just going to continue to push strength at the moment. Maybe I can stop using strength talismans. Or like strength helmets or whatever. And just like prioritize other stuff. Because my strength stat is pretty good I think. But uh, it's with a lot of enhancements. Okay. Now... While I'm here, one thing I also know is I could swear I marked it. The red main painting. There was the, the giant that appeared. Let me have another look at that. Since I know the coffin is there, that's like a direct like next thing to do. Um, and I still can't get into here. Might be side quest related, I'm not sure. This is also a good time for this because um, the chances of full death is pretty high for this little bit. I'm trying to remember exactly where my fall off point was. I think it was like here. It has been a little while since I've done it. Ah, uh, I got pushed. So you can tell it's been a while since I've done that. <laughs> Annoying. The reason I'm doing this is I'm pretty sure that this time around, once I do get to that giant, I'll be able to kill it first time. I still think it's in a really shitty place, uh, considering how huge it is. That's still one of the things I, I don't like about this game, when they put these massive enemies into tiny spaces where it's supposed to be more challenging, but it just it ends up being annoying a lot of the time. I ammo. Yeah, I think this was the final jump I had to make sure I didn't miss. I pressed X! I pressed it! Fuck you! I don't count that one, I press X. Obviously I'm not an idiot and I'm not going to not press X when I need to jump. Ugh. It's a relief because I do remember there was a there was a part of the game where I was like the traversal in this game is horrible and people were telling me, like people that are more experienced with Soulsborne, like yeah, you know, that's just the Soulsborne way, that's just how you traverse, it's always annoying, it's part of the game and blah blah and I was like, yeah, but does it really have to be? I mean, I'm not sure that any other FromSoft game before this one was built around exploration and traversal to this degree before. Like, this is a completely different level of traversal and exploration compared to other FromSoft games, in my opinion. And I don't think that's like a massive stretch or a hot take. I mean, it's, that's what it is. But um, I was thinking to myself, you know what, I'm really not going to like this uh, moving forward because it's just, it's too fiddly and it's, it's not... It's not really fun to do. Uh, these are small ones. Um, but, thankfully, I think I must have just encountered a few like annoying places in a row. Because now, in hindsight, basically having played for probably like another 50, 60, 80 hours or whatever it might be. Um, where am I going? Shit, I went the wrong way. Got carried away. Um, in that time, a lot more of the traversal has been much easier, like the, the paths have been much wider. There hasn't been a lot of slipping off or stupid jumping and that kind of thing, so... Uh, thankfully, it's been pretty minor, so... I'm definitely relieved about that. So I think the, the super frustrating and shit traversal is maybe like... 
10% of it, 20% of it, which is relatively fine, I think. But I've kind of ended up going the wrong, the wrong way here. I think the problem is there's just no sliding off something. Like, he should just sort of peel off and just, just slide down right next to where you are, but he kind of... He goes like half a meter too far. You see that? Need to screw it up again. That's what gets me the most. I don't know if there's a technique for it or something that I'm missing, but it's it's annoying. Also gonna check if there's any other jumps I can make here. Like maybe the one I'm trying to make is too difficult. No, pretty sure. I just have to nail this one. There you go. Okay. This time I want to check out this side a little bit. Quickly. like I haven't used any spells or incantations for a long time. So why don't we just do that? Um. Ah, afflicted by accident. That wasn't what I was trying to do. Maybe taking this guy out in in a first attempt was a bit of a lie. That's probably not going to happen. Unless I can knock him down a few times and stuff. I'm wondering if this guy is better off being stomped because he's got the ice vibes. Absolute tank. I mean, it's not like we can't deal with this, but it's just such a bloody tank. That move only doing 472 damage is not a great sign. We've got to really knock him down. Oh, wow. I was not expecting 
expecting that. Yeah, I think I I might not be able to take this guy down. <laughs> Look how little damage I've done already. to kind of be just slow and steady about this. Ah, didn't expect the pullback. Super, super powerful enemy here. Yeah, the flame just went on too long. I mean, I'm doing such little damage, I'm not even sure how to tackle this. I think I can win, I underestimated it for sure, but... I think this one's easier. The only trouble is I've got to jump through those hoops to even get down there again. There's no stake of Marika either. Yeah, that's why it sucks. Yeah, so I'm going to leave this guy because, honestly, it mixes so many elements that I don't like about this game. So I'm just going to, I'm going to leave this shit here. I'm going to put a marker down. I could swear I had a marker before. I'm going to leave it because the repeat attempt is like two minutes every time. And there's like a 50 to 70% failure rate for me every single time I try to even repeat it. So it's just like, no, I'm not wasting my time with that. Um... What I will waste my time on, though, is here. What is this? Ah, okay. Yeah, so let's go here. There's probably an even more difficult boss coming up, but at least that one I'm, I'm hoping would be more easily repeatable. So maybe this is why the, the summon thing appeared, by the way. Definitely curious to see if it's a new area or if it's a basically a small area with just a boss. 